Hello students, good morning. Here we are going to start the 7th chapter, continuations of that chapter, part 2, that is conservations of plants and animals. This is a part 2 video, chapter 7. Conservation of Plants and Animals Today in this chapter, we are going to cover Wildlife Sanctuary, National Park, Biosphere Reserve, Red Data Book, Migration, then Project of Tiger, Reforestation, Paper Recycling. These topics we are going to cover in this video. First is Wildlife Sanctuary. Wildlife sanctuaries are areas where animals are protected from any disturbance to them or their habitat. The killing or capturing of animals in wildlife sanctuary is strictly prohibited. Dear students, what is wildlife sanctuary? Wildlife sanctuaries are protected areas set up to prevent extinctions of animals. They provide protections and suitable living conditions to wild animals. So, um, killing of animals means poaching or capturing of animals that is strictly prohibited in these areas. There are more than 400 wildlife sanctuaries in India. Indian sanctuaries have broad based level forest, mountain forest and bushland in the deltas of big rivers like Ganga. Some wildlife sanctuaries have been speci specifically named as bird sanctuaries. Some famous wildlife sanctuaries in India are uh, that is Gir in Gujarat. Gir in Gujarat you can see there Asiatic lion, cheetah, and all. Then uh, Gaziranga which is situated in Assam. There you can see uh, Indian uh, rhinoceros. Sarika in Ra Rajasthan, there you found tiger. Periyar in Kerala, there you will see Asian elephant. So, Bharatpur bird sanctuary in, Rajas in Rajasthan, there you will see crane. So, some endangered species of wild animals like uh, black bug, white eyed bug, elephant, golden, cat, pin-headed dog, lion, tiger, rhinoceros, etc. etc. They are protected and preserved in a wildlife sanctuaries. So, wildlife sanctuaries are areas where they reserve for the protection of animals only. And the killing and capturing of animals, it is totally uh, prohibited strictly prohibited so this uh, uh, some of the following activities which is done in the century they allowed it to an extent that this do not affect the wildlife that is harvesting of timber collection of minor forest products right so animals are also protected in the zoos yes or no animals are also protected in the zoos the protections in the zoos is not an adequate and comparable to the protections which is given in centuries in a zoo animals are kept for public exhibition yes or no students in a zoo animals are kept for public exhibition they live in artificial environments and are given food at specific times of the day. In a century what happens? Animals live in their natural habitat. 
and they obtain food from their habitat by their own no one is providing there no one is going there to give them the food yes or no but in a zoo they have uh, they give the food at the specific times yes or no so wildlife sanctuaries they are, it is a natural habitats and there the animals are protected and uh, what you say they are prevent uh, the areas are set up to prevent extinctions of animals understood this is what wildlife sanctuaries next that is national park national parks are areas reserved for wildlife where they can freely use the habitats and natural resources example which is given here that is satpura national park is the first reserve forest in india so what is national park students certain areas have been set aside where animals and plants are protected these are called national park the wild animals or natural vegetations and landscapes are together preserved in the national park okay so uh, what is it it is an area which is strictly reserved for the protection of wildlife okay that is uh, that is the, the it is a area where um, uh, this national park which is strictly reserved for the protection of wildlife is called a national park even the national park preserves flora fauna landscape that is natural environment and historic objects of an area activities like um, grazing hunting forestry and cultivations are banned here no private ownership is allowed it okay so uh, some of the examples which i have gave you right now that is satpura national park it is the first reserve forest in india okay so this was developed to ensure survival and to, um maintenance of the especially for the tiger satpura river uh, sorry satpura tiger reserve it this was developed to ensure the survival and the maintenance of tiger populations in a country okay there are more than 80 national parks in a country the final stick is found in the satpura national park and it is a first reserve forest in india what you found there it is a final stick which is found in that national park rocks uh, rock shelters they are also found here rock, uh, rock paintings indicate existence of lions elephants wild buffaloes during the prehistoric period okay so um then the species which um, that are at high risk of getting extinct they are called as endangered species okay this was all about the national park as i told you the project tiger satpura tiger reserve um right so, uh, what is project tiger over here project tiger was launched on 1st april 1973 by the government of india the project's aim at ensuring a viable populations of bengal tiger in their natural habitats and also to protect them from extinctions and preserving areas of biological importance as a natural heritage forever represented as close as possible the diversity of ecosystem across the tigers distrib distributions in the country the project's task force visualized this tiger reserves as breeding nuclei from which surplus animals would migrate to adjacent forest
सो वॉट इज प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाय द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी थ्री टू प्रोटेक्ट द टाइगर्स इन द कंट्री द टाइगर पॉपुलेशन इन इंडिया हैज बीन डिक्रीजिंग शार्पली ओवर द ईयर्स राइट सो रियलाइजिंग दिस डिक्लाइन द प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर वॉज इनिशिएटेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर सो द प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर वॉज द इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय द गवर्नमेंट राइट टू प्रोटेक्ट वॉट to protect the tigers in the country and the main objective of this project was to ensure the survival and the maintenance of the tiger populations in the country so tiger is one of the many species which are slowly disappearing from a forest but the satpura tiger reserve is unique in the sense that a significant increase in the populations of tigers has been seen here so once upon a time animals like lions elephants uh, wild buffaloes and barasinga they were all uh, also found in the satpura national park animals whose animal uh, numbers are diminishing to a level that they might face extinctions and they are known as the endangered animals oh. so this was about the project tiger next is red data book the book provides a central information source in organizing studies and monitoring programs on rare and endangered species and their habitats it is regularly consulted when developing and implementing special measures for the protections and rehabilitations of such species understood what is red data book red data book is a source book which gives a record of all endangered animals and plants then uh, there was uh, it was published by the international union for conservation of nature and natural resources now known as the world conservation union now it is known as the world conservation union what was the main aim of this world conservation or this um, un international union for conservation of nature and natural resources that is to focus the attentions of converse conservationist towards species that are endangered and at a high risk of extinctions so this was their aim to focus on this so this uh, international union conservations of natural resources also publisher a tag log that was called as red data book which list rare species and those in danger of extinctions okay this is was the main purpose of making this red data book okay next in danger animals endangered animals are those animals whose numbers are diminishing and might face extinction example as i told you tiger is one of the many animals which are slowly diminishing to protect the tigers in a country the government launched the project tiger to ensure the survival of the tiger populations dinosaurs dinosaurs have already became extinct yes or no so this dead uh, dead data books are books which keeps a record of all endangered plants and animals so this red data books kept kept the record of this dinosaurs because it is already became an extinction right so 
this is how we used uh, to keep the record to keep the list a list of any animals or plants and that record we uh, keeps as a record in this red data books okay then ecosystem what is ecosystem an ecosystem consists of all the plants animals and microorganisms living in area along with the non living components like climate water soil river deltas etc so ecosystem so this ecosystem as you know that at times we used to kill the snakes frogs lizards bats and owls ruthlessly right without realizing the importance in the ecosystem by killing them we are harming ourselves they might be small in size but their role in the ecosystem cannot be ignored they form part of food chains and food webs yes or no this we have learned in your class 7th in your previous class an ecosystem is made of all the plants animals and microorganisms in an area along with what non living components such as climate soil river deltas and etc so this is what ecosystem helps us it is uh, it is what this ecosystem is helping us to protect from the next migrations migration is the movement of animals from its own habitat to some other habitat for a particular time period every year due to climatic changes or for breeding birds which fly very long distances to reach another land are called migratory birds so what is your migrations migrations means migration is a seasonal or periodic movement of animals in response to changes in climate or food availability or to ensure reproductions birds fly to a warmer places why they fly to a warmer places to lay eggs covering a la large distance common migratory animals are whales fish turtles and birds so this migratory uh, migrations that means they sit near the means this birds have flown here from one from other parts of the world so this migratory birds they fly to far away areas every year during a particular time why because of the climatic changes they fly for what they fly for laying eggs as the weather in their natural habitat becomes very cold and in hospitality so birds who cover long distance to reach another land they are known as migratory birds understood the birds who cover long distance to reach another land are known as migratory birds so this is what about the migrations it is a movement of animals from its own habitat to some other habitat for a particular time that is every year due to the climatic changes okay why they are changing so that they can lay eggs or for breeding a birds which fly very long distances to reach another land they are called as migratory birds then the topic comes that is recycling of paper about 17 full grown trees are required to produce 1 ton of paper paper can be recycled about 5 to 7 times per use we should save reuse recycle paper to save not only trees 
but also to save the energy water and chemicals which is used to make paper so dear students do you know paper is the most thrown away material hmm it is most thrown away material paper as you know is made from trees yes or no it takes how many it takes 70 full grown trees to make a ton of paper even we can recycle paper five to seven times we should use paper with care this paper can recycle five to seven times we should use this paper with very care you know so this will help us in saving many trees in a year this way the amount of harmful chemicals which is used in making paper will also be reduced the demand of recycled paper is increasing these days as people have started realizing its importance so paper as you know that paper is made of what it is made of pulp of trees paper is made from pulp of trees you can imagine how many lakhs of trees are being cut every year to make paper right which you as a student use for your studies and also often waste it in a useless activities yes or no so as you have learned uh, that in class 6 we will uh, recall that various ways which you uh, which paper can be saved how can it can be saved it can be saved you can write on both sides of the paper right when you write on both sides of the paper paper can be saved yes or no avoid wastage of paper recycle paper right so paper can be recycled how many times five to seven times for use then recycling help us what they will help us to save energy and water which is needed to manufacture the paper then what are, what else it can be saved the use of harmful chemicals which is you uh, help uh, which makes um, sorry chemicals in making paper that also reduced so this is what about the recycling of paper next is reforestation reforestation is the restocking of destroyed forest by planting new trees we should plant at least as many trees as we cut we have already caused a lot of damage to our forest if we have to regain our green wealth reforestation is the only options so what is reforestation planting of new trees restocking of destroyed plants by planting a new trees where forest have been destroyed that is what we called as reforestation if the destroyed forest area is left undisturbed then natural reforestation take place in natural reforestation there is no role of human beings undisturbed uh, area right if we do not destroy, uh, destroy that forest area which is very which is left undisturbed then there will be natural reforestation can take place so in natural reforestation there is no role of human beings yes or no so in india the following acts deal with the conservation of forest that is forest conservation act which was done in 1980 wildlife protection act which was in 1972 so there are two main aims of this act that was to preserve and conserve forest and to meet the basic needs of the people living in or near the forest so although the government is making efforts to save the forest yet deforestation goes on illegally so it is our duty to help the government to save our forest wealth understood how will you help the for, uh, government you will help them uh, help the government to 
regain our green wealth by what by reforestations okay by planting many trees you can help the governments so this is what about a second part in conservations of plants and animals so students you have to read your textbook read the textbook carefully okay and then solve the textual answers which is given in your textbook that is page number 86 exercise number 1 that is filling the blanks you have to do in the textbook itself then the question number 2 that is differentiate between the following that you have to do yourself okay you have to differentiate that topics which is given in your textbook okay write in your rough book or either you have made the science notebook you can write that in science notebook also till then take care have a nice day thank you